Tem isso aqui. First temple visit, right? Mm. Oh. oh. Welcome to our very spontaneous little road trip uh, if you are like an ancient uh, subscriber of mine you might recognize the sites here we decided uh, after my mom left uh, back to Finland and we like had such a great weather here uh, we like just suddenly decided that in, in an hour's notice uh, we are going to drive to Harpalo and Mandoli, our villages, so that we can introduce Annika to the extended family. This is the last time that we visited. This little girl here was still in my tummy. But yeah, it's really great to get to show her, especially to Nani. And I hope that once again you will enjoy visiting our villages with us. Mm. Annika's favorite, alu parata. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Daddy. 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 Oh. 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 I think for Annika this is less of a lunch break and oh. more of a mm. exercise break. Oh, dance it down, Annika. Dance it, because you never had. Oh, you, Annika. So we're now halfway to Harpalu. It's about a four hour drive from our Jaipur house. And uh, we have stopped at this temple that we did on our last road trip to. It's a good place to enjoy a little bit of like outdoors to stretch your legs and back, especially for Annika here. And then obviously for her, it's also special because it's her first temple visit. And uh, yeah, then enjoy our really good homely lunch here uh, instead of stopping at a daba. And let's just hope the weather stays this pleasant. Oh, yeah. oh. Now give her the milk in the car. Oh, Annika! Annika! Mennan! Mennan! And let's put the shoes back on. Uncle. 
Uh, there is absolutely no trip to Harparu without stopping at our favorite Mitai place, Lo Chan uh, Pedawala. And like seriously, they must have the like greatest Mitai in the region. Oh, then yeah, you take your turn. Oh, was it there? Yeah. No, no, no. Or, or here? Okay. No, no, it's, it's ah, there. Okay. <laughs> I got already scared that Ovino is not going to let us stop there. Seriously, if you are here in the region, you have to stop at Lal Chang Pedawala. It's uh, near Jirawa, uh, and the branch that we are now visiting, it's the uh, Jirawa Bypass Road. Here we are. In 300 meters. Oh, very good. So we're buying some kachu katli. It's been forever since I've had any. I think last time was two years ago on Diwali. Then yeah, remember what are these two here that we were tasting? The other one is made of uh, besan. And, uh, what was this made of? Kalakan. And uh, the wider one here is Kalakan. Super good. But uh, in addition to Katju Katli, we have to take Peda because Peda is the best thing here. It's like, I, I think it's like at least state famous, if not world famous. So, yeah, now we can actually go to the village because we have something to bring with us. And maybe <laughs> I did already get to taste a little bit. I was able to not eat all of it. So maybe I will have good karma and I will get to have a little bit more in Harpalu too. Seriously. Mm. There's a reason why Kaju Katli is my top three. I'm, I'm very happy that I had a light lunch. How much is Annika eating? Annika had half of this. <laughs> oh, I think she's gonna be having a sugar rush. You'll get more of it. And she loved the peda. Mm. <laughs> Annika finished. <laughs> I think the Indian kids must be happy because they have all this meat time. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can ever truly grasp how different the worlds Vinod and I grew up in are. As a child, I was devastated for many years about not getting the one toy that I kept wishing from Santa, while Vinod played with rocks he found in the dunes and got his first shoes at the age of eight. Of course, I have done a lot of growing up after my childhood, and I love visiting Vinod's villages in Rajasthan and Haryana. But I would be lying if I didn't admit those visits were very challenging too, especially now with a child of our own, but also a child of these two worlds. Even if I do sometimes struggle with a variety of things that are difficult for me, like the June heat in Churu, trying to take care of hygiene, or the lack of a few comforts during these visits that just make parenting so much easier. I do my best to not let it show. I try to understand and be grateful, which I do out of respect for family, but especially for Annika's sake. I want Annika to always be as happy and excited about these visits as she was now. She should never feel it's any kind of burden to go and visit our villages and the land where half of her roots are. Kerala. 
I keep thinking about my own deceased grandparents and dad and how I wish Annika had met them. So I want to do everything I can to make sure all of Vinod's family does. We have finally reached Nani's house here in Harpalu. And Annika is... Uh, well, maybe not anymore, but at least at first she was like quite overwhelmed by these like new, very different surroundings and all the new people here. But the social person that she is, I think she's slowly warming up to everyone and starting to play with them and also do her little talking and babbling with them. And she's been enjoying watching Daddy cook here and talking about warming up. Uh, that's pretty much also what Minot and I are doing here. Uh, we oh, uh, based our decision to come here to the weather forecast that we're promising that it's going to be cooler and rainier here, which does not seem to be the case. It's actually quite hot. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that it was... Yeah, <laughs> I think us in mixed families have an even greater need to raise our children to know, respect and care for our roots, both of our roots, so that they can communicate and bond with their grandparents and extended families, and thus understand themselves better too. And by seeing these different ways of life, oh. children will be able to grow so much empathy for human beings who might not look like them, sound like them, or live like them. Unfortunately, we don't get to spend much time in the villages, but going there allows Annika to experience a very different culture from mine, or from the one we have created in our mixed home, or even Vinot's since he left the villages as a young boy. But this culture is just as much a part of Annika, and I think she knows too that this is home. She might actually jump from here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just need to put her sitting there. No, it's rainy. <laughs> and very close. Buffalo, like a buffalo.
Monika. Kuš, kitko. Yes. Kaksi. This is that kind of nice drizzle where it's still okay to be out in the rain. Mm. <laughs> Unlike in Kerala. Take it from I feel so happy. I feel so I I I I I I I <laughs> she, she lifted Nani's to butter. <laughs> she thought that Nani is hiding. That's what I want to do. I want Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
ini kau mungkin nak kerja mana ni kaki nak ni Annika had a lot of fun visiting our villages and she might not have been in a big hurry to leave but the June heat really did wipe us all out quickly so we made the mandatory family visits for Jai in Mandoli and then headed back home to Jaipur but I'm quite sure we will be going back to the villages much sooner this time and during a much cooler season and capturing many more memories for Annika to cherish Making a quick stop at one of Vinod's Bua's place on our way to Mandoli. This is very close to Harpao though. And here we have Bua. Namaste Ji. Here are all the cows and buffaloes. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Annika! <laughs> Annika. Annika, that's the cow that injured your boa. Now is the perfect time to have a little morning mitai here in the car. Uh, that now that we're again on our way to Mandoli. And yeah, one thing I have to say, which really made... Oh, really? good but yeah one thing I forgot to say yesterday that made me really happy at the Lalchand Perawala uh, this has only happened to me like once before in Gorakpur uh, but the uh, Mitaiwala uh, remembered us from our last visit uh, like 18 months ago when we stopped there and yeah back then Annika was still in my uh, tummy and it was like <laughs> so fun that he remembered me and now he also got to see what we were expecting then. <laughs> there she's enjoying her mitai. And you guys also like mitai. Mm, <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy mitai? <laughs> mm. <laughs> 